Hello! West Alameda! You know what time it is. It's after 7 o'clock. It's that time to give that shout out. And let's say thank you to all the front line and the essential workers. To those doctors, the nurses, the longshoremen, the bus drivers, the truck drivers, the farm workers, those who work in the stores, the cashiers. So please open your windows, clap your hands, bang your pots and pans. Honk your horns, make some noise! Hey, what's going on, Facebook? How y'all doing? So, uh, yeah, we're out here doing... Today is day 271. This is it's December 27th. And, you know, I'm asking all of you to please keep in your thoughts, in your prayers, all those who have died from coronavirus all over the world those who have died here in the United States, those who have died here in California and right here in the Bay Area. So please keep them in your prayers, keep them in your thoughts. And also, um, I want to give a special shout out to the sanitation workers. I want you just to think about it. Right during this time when all the stuff that's going on, we still have those people who are doing sanitation who are coming to our house, coming to our apartment buildings, coming to uh, where people work, who are still at work, and they're picking up their garbage. So to the sanitation workers, we thank you. We appreciate what you're doing. You, you are definitely one of those essential workers, and thank you for what you're doing. Um, I don't know what's going on with your boy Donald, not your boy, but I mean, for those of you who follow Donald and you're on, you, you down with Donald, I don't know what's going on with him, why he won't sign this um, stimulus package. I don't know, but hey, let's hope something gets done. All right. And uh, that's all I can say. But I want to give this shout out to, like I said, the sanitation workers. So. For the sanitation workers, <laughs> my boy, my boy, my boy, Ashe, 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 Harambe, Harambe, Amandla, Amandla, Hokahe, Hokahe. Que viva! Viva! Mahalo! Yeah, what's up, baby? How you doing, man? All right, right on. Shalom. Namaste. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Um, Wakanda forever. Chadwick Boseman, respect. RBG, respect. So, you know, that's my shout out for them. And as you know, I always ask you to remember Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, Andre Hill, Elijah McClain, Mike Brown, Eric Garner, Trayvon Martin, Oscar Grant, Guadalupe Ochoa, Alejandro Nieto, Andy Lopez, 
Emmett Till, George Steiny Jr. The list goes on and on. And we, you know, so I say their names because I want to remind you and all of us that we want the police to be held accountable for when they commit a crime. Andre Hill was killed by this cop and he wasn't doing nothing. He was just in his garage and some, some Karen or some Ken called in about him standing in the garage of his friend's building, garage, home. He was visiting them and he had permission to be there and he was in their garage. I don't know, tinkering with the car, whatever he was doing. And the cop just came up and shot him. And Andre had a cell phone. And the cold part about it was he just let the man lay there for five minutes. Five minutes. Bleeding. Didn't offer any kind of help to him. So anyway, uh, I will always say their names and I want to make sure that we say their names and not forget, forget them. So, uh, on that note, I'm going to retire, <laughs> and I will ask all of you who do get on here, whenever you get on here, um, Paulette, it looked like you're the only one on here, but that's okay, <laughs> but for the, the anybody who comes on here later, at 8 o'clock tonight, I will be doing the second night of Kwanzaa, okay, so... In Kwanzaa, the Swahili word for what's the news is Habaragani. Habaragani, what's the news? Or what's up? And the response would be Kuji Chagalia. Kuji Chagalia is Swahili, which is part of the Kwanzaa celebration for self determination. Hey, Shaniqua, what's up? You gonna come on here tonight? I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be doing Kwanzaa. Shaniqua, you remember we used to do Kwanzaa in the BBs? I used to do it over there. Okay, so I'm going to be doing it tonight at 8 o'clock. I hope you come on and check it out. Um, I'll be doing it a little bit different from yesterday, and I have the setup different from yesterday. I learned some things, so I'm, I'm trying to get it right. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay, yes, Shaniqua, I, I love you, niece. I love you. I love you so much. And you know I love your, your love your Papa B and your Mama Tracy. You know I love them. Um, you know, <laughs> the Morels and the Dixons, we all one family, right? Dixons and Morels. <laughs> Michigan, Cali, and Texas. You know, we get down like that. I love y'all. But anyway, y'all, so anybody who's interested, come on. Check me out, 8 o'clock tonight. Um, be doing this thing, and, uh, yeah, she's leaving, did she leave already, Shaniqua, is she gone already, what time did she leave, because it's 7 o'clock out here, but anyway, um, I know, she was so excited about coming out there to come visit you too, what can you say, but I love you, all right, uh, hey Margie, what's up, hey Margie, you ain't doing nothing, come see me at 8 o'clock. I'm going to be doing my Kwanzaa thing. You know, so the thing with Kwanzaa is, it's, it, it may not be going like the way, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to do the best I can. Like I said, I haven't done Kwanzaa for 11 years. The last time I did it was 2008 to January 1st, 2009. That was the last time I actually did a Kwanzaa celebration. So I'm trying to get back into it, and uh, we'll see what happens, okay? Everybody, wear your mask. I was out today, and I wore my mask, and I'm asking all of you to wear a mask. Stay safe. Stay strong. Let's, let's beat let's beat this uh, coronavirus. You know, you, you got to know about the double V, double V. Okay, so during World War II, during World War II, um, they used the V sign for victory. Victory over the Nazis, victory over the, Jap the, the Empire of Japan, victory over the fascist Italy of Mussolini. That was the Axis, the Axis powers. But black people, African Americans, and Latinos and other people in this country, minorities, 
were being oppressed here in America by the Ku Klux Klan, the segregationists, the the rednecks and the conservatives. And they decided, someone came up with the idea of the double V. Victory over the Nazis and the Axis power and victory over the Ku Klux Klan and the segregationists and the rednecks out here in our own country. So I think we should have a double V too. Victory over coronavirus and victory over, you know, the Proud Boys and Trump and the Ku Klux Klan, the segregationists and the right wingers and all that stuff. That's just me. Hey, y'all, I'm about here. Come check me out at 8 o'clock. Peace, one love. Mabuhay.